Meanwhile, women across the U.S. are encouraged to stay home from work today as part of a national day without a woman. That strike organized by the group that put together the big women's march, the national one that was in January, and this all coincides with International Women's Day. CBS 2 Susanna Song joining us live at the Merchandise Mart this morning, where there are several activities planned there uh, held to mark the festivities. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Lionel. Chicago's Tech Incubator 1871 is celebrating this day with all sorts of activities here at its Merchandise Mart headquarters. They have events to inspire women to be bold for change, and the events are free and open to the public. Now, the purpose of this International Women's Day is to send a message about the importance of women in the workplace. Women are encouraged to skip work to show what the absence of women means to the economy. The same group that planned the day without immigrants rally planned events today throughout the city. Paco Collective, a cross-cultural marketing agency in the West Loop, is also closed today, but all employees will get paid. Women make up 73% of that company. The agency couldn't exist without women, and it's a real tangible sort of proof of the contributions that um, women make, in particular to, to our business and our clients' business. Again, there are a lot of events planned for throughout the city today. For one, the CTA is holding a rally at 9 this morning to honor women. And then at 7 tonight, local labor organizations will hold a rally at the Teachers Union Hall. We are live outside of the Merchandise Mart on this very windy morning. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Lionel, back to you. All right, Susanna, thank you.